This is a homemade and very cheap photo boot for parties. Because I'm expecting a big party and photo boots are very expensive, so I've made my own. The case is made out of wood and inside we have a supply for the LEDs, also a tablet and a thermal printer. So basically this is capable of taking your picture and print it in a couple of seconds. And that's exactly what you should expect from such a product. So let me show you what you need for this project, how to set it up, how to make the case and start taking and printing your own pictures. You have everything that you need below in the description. So guys, let's get started. Get PCBs like these ones using the services of PCBWay with amazing quality and incredible prices. Just upload your Gerber files to their website pcbway.com. And have in mind you can select between several colors. Gold plated pads for better conductivity, different thicknesses and amount of layers up to 14 layers. I'm always satisfied with my orders and the excellent quality. And the order process takes only a few minutes and in just a few days I received my PCBs well packed. Now my projects are more professional and work a lot better, with less errors. Excellent tracks and good precision for the pads, the vias and the surface finish. So improve your projects by ordering your PCBs with PCBWay, starting from only $5. What's up my friends, welcome back. In a few weeks it will be my wedding, believe it or not. But today we are here for a project and not for personal stuff. Usually at weddings it's common to rent an automatic photo booth. But those services could go up to 1000 euros and it's just a rental service. I think I could make my own low cost wedding photo booth for less than 300 euros. It should have a graphic interface to take and select the photos. It should have its own printer for real time prints and also some lights if the ambient is too dark. The part list for such project might be a little bit bigger than this, but these are the main parts that we need. I will use an old Android tablet that I bought for just $50 from a second hand app. You can find them for very cheap. And to print the photos I want to use this kind of thermal printer. And this costs less than 100 euros and the size of the prints is pretty close to the rental photo boot paper, so it will be good enough. And for the case I will use this kind of plywood or MDF. I will use some white LED strip for the light. And we also need a PWM controller like this one to control the brightness. And then we need a 12V and a 5V power supplies to supply everything because all the parts will be turned on all the time so they can't run on batteries. And for the case together with the wood boards we also need some other wood parts, some screws, glue, some cables, some spray paint and so on. And once the project is done you will have the full part list on my website electronics.com with more details. Ok so let's see. I want the tablet to be always on, so for that we go into display settings and set the screen timeout to maximum value or to never if you have that option. And next we need to install the Canon app for this printer, in my case it's called mini print. And if you use a different printer just install its own app. And as you can see this app can be connected to the printer bluetooth. Take a picture and then you can send those pictures to be printed by the printer and get these results. Ok so I want to have the tablet in kiosk mode. And that means that the user could only see one app and they can't navigate to the rest of the tablet because we don't want that. So for that I go to the play store and install the full single app kiosk. And once installed you run that app. Now here we click the select app button and select the mini print app for the Canon printer. Also add the password so you could exit the kiosk mode. Now click start kiosk mode. 
and here select the fully single app as launcher and then click the always button. So now we have the Canon app in a kiosk mode, so the users can exit this app. If you have the free version you might see some text over the screen. And have in mind that the main button of the tablet will be covered once the project is done. So click the connect button on the top right corner. Turn on the printer by long pressing the button. Enable Bluetooth and once detected, connect to your printer. So now we are ready, so from here you can click the snap photo button. And one problem that I have is that it will always start with the main camera, and we have to switch to the selfie camera manually. I add a 5 seconds timer for example and take a picture. And once taken we click the top corner button and print the picture. It will take around 15 seconds to print. Ok, so to exit the kiosk mode, you have to tap the screen 7 times very fast, and then add the password. In the kiosk app, if you swipe right, you can enter the settings, and change what you want to hide or disable. I hide the status and the navigation bar from the top part of the screen, so now as you can see, we don't have those anymore. Anyway, now we have to place this setup inside of a cool case and a permanent power supply. Add some lights and give it a nice look. So let's start. I get some plywood and make some measurements. And then I cut it to size. I want to have the tablet in the middle, the lights all around, I need a potentiometer to dim the lights and the photo will exit below the tablet. As the photo tray, I will use this 3D printed part here. Also, the Zoe mini printer can only accept up to 10 papers. So I will have to make some sort of case to be able to carry more than just that, but for now I will leave it like this. I've bought 50 zinc papers, and this printer works with the zinc thermal technology. I would need around 200 papers for the entire party. Anyway, I mark where the tablet will go and make a hole in the plywood. I secure the tablet in place from behind, using some other wood pieces and glue. I make some kind of support for it. And make sure that you also leave a hole for the camera. Now that the tablet is in place, I also make a hole where the printer will go. Then I cut the sides of the case. Using a stapler I add some thicker wood from behind, a few parts on each corner. Then I use more staples and also some wood glue and I add all the sides of the case. Add plenty of glue all around. Then I add in place the support for the printer, just in front of the hole. I add two more wood bars on the back side for support. And on these wood bars I can now screw the back wood plate. Ok, so now I use some putty and fill all the holes. Then I let it dry and then sandpaper it. So now it looks better so we are ready to paint it. I've used some white spray paint and applied around 3 layers of paint. Let it dry and also paint the back wood plate that will close the case. Around the tablet hole I've placed some carbon fiber vinyl to cover the cut and also make it look better. And then I get the white LEDs and glue them all around the perimeter of the case. Solder wires in series for the LEDs. And then I solder some long wires and pass them inside of the case. To fix the printer in place I'm using some velcro strips. Like that it will be a lot easier to take it out just in case. On the bottom part of the case I make a hole and I add a power connector. Inside I secure the power supplies in place for 12 volts and 5 volts. On the side I make another hole and we add the main on and off switch. So between the connector, the switch and the supplies, I add a bunch of wires. 
On the other side I add the power controller for the LEDs and take out the potentiometer knob. From the 5V power supply I add two USB cables, one for the tablet and another one for the printer. I flip the case and now I screen place the photo tray. So now the photo boot is almost ready. All I've done here is to add some stickers to make it look a bit better. But now it's ready for a test, so let's see. I connect the power cable and flip the main switch. I can control the light brightness using the potentiometer. We run the kiosk and the Canon printer app and make sure that you are connected to the thermal printer. I click the snap picture button and I set the timer to 5 seconds. You can adjust the LEDs if you want. So press the button and take a picture. And now click the print button. And in a few seconds you have your picture. So this works great. Now you can have a cool wedding party where people could take their own pictures and kept them as a souvenir. You could place this photo boot over a tripod or some sort of furniture so it will have the correct height or even be able to adjust its height. But the rest is good to go. Snap a picture and print it within seconds. One thing that I would change is probably to add some sort of support for the printer so it could hold more than just 10 pictures. You could also place the printer externally to the boot, however you want. So guys, you can check below the connection schematic, the part list and the full tutorial on electronos.com if you want to make the same project. Because comparing this with the renting photo boot, the price is a lot lower, so you should definitely consider the homemade version. If you like this project and you have learned something new, consider giving me a like or comment below. Thanks again and see you later guys. So guys, did you like this video? I hope so. Ok, so look, I would really like to thank you to all of you for the support, especially for those who are supporting me on Patreon because that's a really nice thing to do. And if you can support me on Patreon, well, all you can do is to just like my videos or comment below in order to get more activity on YouTube, that will really help me. And if not, you have all my links below for my shop, for my website, if you want to buy my t-shirts and so on. So thanks again and see you in the next video.